and he will raise you up on eagle's wings. That is that catchy and obtrusive religious pop song from 1970s on eagle's wings. That song is a paraphrase of the Psalm 91. Interestingly, that Psalm does not even name any kind of bird directly. Eagle is an extrapolation from those images in that Psalm, being covered by the pinions, having refuge under divine wings. But either directly named or indirectly surmised, this protection and care under or on the wings, eagle's wings, provided a powerful biblical image of divine protection and care. You have seen what I did to the Egyptians and how I bore you on eagle's wings and brought you to myself. That is quotation from the book of Exodus and a reference of liberation from slavery. There are several other biblical references of a similar kind. But there is a problem with all these biblical eagles. All these biblical eagles are a translation of the Hebrew word nesher. But if we look up this word in Hebrew Bible and other Semitic languages, it presents a more complicated image. Yes, Nesher has remarkable wingspan, cares and protects its nest, usually located in some high cliffs. Nesher circles and glides in the sky, flies really, really high. So far, so good, an eagle-like behavior. But then we also hear that it has a bald head and descends and feasts on carrion. And you must admit, very uneagle like behavior. There is actually a consensus among lexicographers, linguists studying vocabulary, that Nesher was actually a vulture. It fits the biblical image and those references. Vultures and condors are much larger birds than eagles. They soar more often and much higher than eagles. In general, they are more impressive and imposing birds. Greek Septuagint still used word aetos, meaning simply a large bird of all men, divination, both vulture and eagle. Only the Roman imperial fetish led to modern preference for eagles. And so it is only because of a Roman imperial ideology and consequent European likes and dislikes that biblical translations replaced one big kite bird with slightly smaller one, which we find culturally more acceptable. But Hebrew biblical authors definitely spoke or sang about the divine vulture wings and that is something you might not know about the Bible. Psalm 91 is all about healing and protection from illness and within our cultural context vultures would give completely wrong idea. Another example how we need to translate in the broader context what we now call dynamic equivalence. Join us this Sunday for another avian worship, this time about healing, loving and caring divine vulture, eh, I mean eagle.